Let me see. Um, let me, so let's get Brother Terrain in here. What's up, Brother Terrain? Brother Terrain. How you doing this evening? I'm good, brother. How are you? I'll be better, man, when this food wears off. I've been dragging for the past three days. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to make a couple of points. Oh, well, I wanted to throw one thing out there and make another point. Um, yeah. The situation with Derek Chauvin, um, I don't, you know, I'm sorry it happened that it wasn't finished, but I'll leave that alone. Really? But, um, <laughs> but um, I feel like that might be some internal prison politics that's going on because I guarantee you that dude is either being protected by the guards or by the Aryans um, gangs in there one way or the other. So, yeah. And so something, something about that is off. Cause I guarantee he's looked at as a hero in there on that. So that needs to be more investigated. The second thing I wanted to ask or throw out there is the, um, politically, man, the, Biden administration is in serious trouble with the black voters. And I know they are because I've seen more and more like more vicious attacks and more condescending attacks from a lot of the shills that are in the bag for Biden Harris. Now, I don't want to get into a conversation about who people want to vote for, but I've noticed that over the past couple of years, it was basically, you know, it was either stripping or get your booty to the polls or just shut up black man and just go vote because you're holding us back. But now I'm seeing this campaign of just straight up condescension, like you're too stupid to understand how the process works. And if you're upset with the administration and them funding Ukraine and Israel, then just shut up anyway and don't ask no questions and just go ahead and go vote. So I personally think that's going to be I think the Dems are going to be in for a very rude awakening by the fact that they're the issues that are important to their base. They're not paying attention to and they're being disrespectful to them about it because, you know, to the point where even Jamal Bowman is saying that the fact that we're not talking about reparations is going to hurt us in 2024 and people are disregarding that. So I'd love to get your take on what you think the political landscape is going to look like in 2024 in our land. Yeah, Thank you, brother. Good question, man. And, and again, I've seen some of these videos and they're doing the same play with these Democratic shields and, and Democrats. I hope y'all are listening. Y'all, people at the DNC, listen, we can smell your Democratic ops from a mile a damn way at this point because y'all have a, 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 a prototype that you use. If there's always a little bed winchy vibe. It's always a tether. There's a tether bed winchy vibe. Uh, and like my man Terrain said, it's always a condescending tone. Um, they come out here, they start acting like black voters are dumb and we're too dumb to see that the Republicans are going to get us. They use the whole same, the same playbook. The, the sky is falling. If you let the Republicans get in office, the sky is going to fall. Everything, we're going to be back in slavery if you let the Republicans get back in office. The scare tactics that they try to use, they don't understand them shits don't work. All the hell that we've been receiving has been under the damn Democrats. You can't scare us with the Republican thing, that the Republicans are going to get us. That Y'all tried that, and it didn't work. And I've said this before, when, when Trump was in office, and I'm no fan of the, the Republicans, but Trump didn't really put any overtly anti-black policies out there. None. Trump didn't put any anti-black policies out there. But the damn Democrats... Man, we were getting locked up left and right for anti-Asian hate crimes. We were being targeted for that nonsense. The Democrats are throwing all of these illegal immigrants into black neighborhoods. The black communities all over the country are begging for help. Like, hey, 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 Democrats, what are you doing? Y'all dumping these people into our neighborhoods. We don't know these people. They're using our facilities. We got to kick our kids out of sports facilities because y'all bringing in illegal immigrants. Y'all housing these people using our tax dollars. Some of these people are criminals. They had one dude from South America who was a damn uh, a murderer that got out of jail and came up here. I just saw a story about that guy from down there in South America. They even put him in a damn black community. So the black community is like, hey, man, what the hell? Y'all can't scare us with nothing that the Republicans are going to do. What are they going to do that you ain't doing? You dig? Y'all better cough up that bread that you owe us. We got to get that reparations thing happening. 
and bringing your disrespectful Democratic shills out here to try to shame us, to try to talk like they're some kind of intellectual superiors, which they're not, especially when they're tethers. That's another thing that I don't like. When y'all get y'all Democratic shills who are tethers, who are lucky to be over here and should be thanking us for helping them get over here, want to come and point their finger about how we're not smart enough to see the finesse that the Republicans are going to run on us. And, and no disrespect, I don't want no, I don't take political advice from Tethers. You understand? If you couldn't fix your own homeland, if people are pissing and shitting in the streets in your homeland, you can't say nothing to me. I don't want to hear nothing you have to say. You're not going to be condescending to me. And people over there in your homeland wiping their ass with leaves. You can't say nothing to me. No disrespect. I don't take any condescension from Democratic shield tethers. You understand? We're just not playing that game with them no more. So they're going to have to do what we're telling them to do. Break bread. Give us what's owed. Y'all give everybody else things that are not even owed to them. If they're grieved in any shape, way, form, or fashion, y'all write checks for them. Y'all need to start getting that popping for us. We don't give a damn if the white supremacists don't like it. They don't like anything we do anyway. We're past that like shit. We're talking about what's due. We ain't trying to sit around and hold hands and kick cans and sing Kumbaya no more. Black folks are finally getting a backbone and we're letting all, y'all know what the business is. All right, but let me get up out of here, man. I'm about to go get some of that, some of the herbs from somewhere. And um, y'all be good, man. I'll be um, on live tomorrow on my Tariq Radio YouTube channel. Y'all go to Tariq Radio and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll chop it up with you guys tomorrow. Peace.